So when you're buying Oakleys online and you can't try them on your face, you don't know what size to get, we got a guide for you. Coming up. Hello, thank you for joining us. My name is Tyler. I'm here with my Oakley man, Andrew. We're gonna go over a quick little friendly fit guide. It's gonna help you to know what is gonna fit your face size and shape. And we're just gonna jump right into it. But before we do that, make sure that if you find this content to be interesting or valuable in any way, subscribe because we have lots more really good, interesting videos just like this with a wide range of content. Uh, and definitely ring the bell so that as soon as a new video gets popped up there, it goes right to you. So definitely do that. Uh, we have a blog down below that has all of this. It's a very info rich blog. It has all of this written out in just painstaking detail and it's it's a beautiful thing. So definitely check that out. Check us out on Instagram. We're all it. over. Anyway, let's jump into this. Okay, so we kind of want to start with there are some families of frames that Oakley does. So we'll start with the different families and the sizing within the families and then we'll kind of jump into uh, just different sizing from, from there on out. I think we should start with the Flax family. What do you I think, think? I think we should. Yeah. So uh, historically, Oakley will put out a frame, for example, Flax 2.0 XL. It does really well for them. They want to put it out in other sizes too. So they have a Flax XS there. Here, I'll, you put this one on. Okay. Because I kind of have... Just for you guys at home, I have kind of a smaller head, I would say. It's a beautiful head. I'm, I'm cool with admitting that. Um, so I'll put on head. kind of the smaller frames here. He has the standard fit there. So the Flak 2.0 XL, we love this frame. It's a really good kind of medium to large to extra large. We like to refer to this as a one size fits most frame because it really does. As long as you're not a particularly small head, this is probably gonna fit you really well. It's very true. I mean, it's our top selling sport glass. It's also Oakley's top selling sport sunglass. He's wearing the limited edition Sport RX Flak 2.0 XL colorway. We have a separate video about that. Matt Carbon. Peep it. Won't go into too much detail there. Yeah. But I have the That's XS. Cool. He's got the standard fit. There's also an Asian fit style available right. here. And what does that mean? So it means that you get larger nose pads, in this case, the frame is actually a little bit different. Tell me about the lenses. Okay, so what's pretty unique about this and what we love in particular, and you might notice how it's fitting me a little differently, is they didn't do what a lot of brands do when they have an Asian fit or an alternate fit or a global fit. There are lots of different terms for it where they essentially just beef up the nose pad. Oakley went into way more detail and they changed the whole chassis. So if you get the Asian Fit Flak 2.0, you cannot put any other lenses in it other than the Asian Fit Flak 2.0 lens because the lens is a little wider, the overall fit is a little wider. There's actually a difference in the, the distance between the lenses, the bridge width just in general, uh, but also the lens shape. It's a little more flat on the bottom as opposed to the 2.0 XL non-Asian Fit. It goes a little deeper because what can happen a lot with uh, that alternate fit is that it hits the cheeks. So they cut that a little shorter so it doesn't hit the cheeks nearly as, as readily. Mm -hmm. Very true. And just as a little bit of a disclaimer, Flak 2.0 XL is special in that way in the Asian Fit version, uh, the frame being different as well. Some of the other Oakley models that are uh, in Asian Fit might just have larger nose pads there. So if you have specific questions about frames, you can always contact one of our opticians in-house and they'll help you out right away. Holler. Um, yeah, so throw these on. This is the half jacket, which is more of the small to medium fit. Honestly, this is usually my go-to for women. If you're looking for a good sport frame, this is in that flak family, even though it doesn't have flak in the name. It's the same, it's the same family of design for sure, the interchangeable design, semi-rimless, really good. Uh, what I think is cool about this line is that if you got a whole sporty family, that's a little little uh, little tight down here. You have the, right the whole family right there. of frames is pretty cool. There we are. All right, so then next up, we have the ever popular and amazing Holbrook. So I'll grab the XS. XS just came out. He's got the standard fit. There's also an XL, which we'll try on in just a minute. I mean, can't, can't go wrong with this. Just classic lifestyle look. Got the keyhole nose bridge, Omatter frame. 
Um, you know, there's a reason really why it's fit. offered in three different sizes. Yeah, this is a really cool frame, really good kind of timeless classic frame in my opinion. One thing to note, he's, he referenced the keyhole bridge. This is the XL that I'm putting on. You can definitely tell that it's a larger frame. So the keyhole bridge actually allows for a bit better of a fit on a wider range of nose bridges. So you're probably gonna be in pretty good shape with these, even if you have a, you know, a, a larger nose bridge or a narrower nose bridge, probably accommodate you well. That's a good point. Let's go, let's go to the frog skins next. Okay. So we have the XS. These ones are probably gonna be a little bit small on me. It's very small. Throw them on anyways. And this is a favorite for men and women alike. I do find that women tend to like it a little more than men. I, I like the frog skins. I think it's a good look, and again, yeah. another really classic frame. Uh, yeah, is it, this? Uh, we did another video of a uh, of a man that had like fifty. Yeah, one different of frog skins. Check Amanda that out. Fox, That's pretty neat. Fox's fifty frog Fox's skins. 50 frog skins. Tons of different wild colorways there for this frame. Yes. XL might be in the future. Just saying, I don't know. Keep We're kind of, kind of. Wondering why it already hasn't been in introduced at should this have, point, I guess. Should have already happened. You want to yeah. go XS? Uh, so I, actually, uh, so we have the XS. I think the standard fit is actually even still like a small to medium. Uh, definitely okay. a, a solid medium, but even probably well accommodates a smaller face, but not a large, if you have big head, sorry, frog skin's not for you until that XL comes out. Main link, love this frame. Main link XL. Let's, let's swap. Yeah, good That call. makes more sense. So the, the original main link that he's wearing is more of a medium fit, maybe even a medium to large fit. And then you have the main link XL, which is a new addition. And we love this frame, really good kind of hybrid frame. He got grip all over the place and uh, they, they had an XL fit for the, the bigger heads. I think this is a little big for me, it was a little big for him. Yep. Lots of versatility here though. Um, like Tyler said, you get the unobtainium grip. Uh, can play sports in it, but also has that more lifestyle look. Let me put these on. So I think the, the standard fits me pretty well. And it's a good comfortable frame, lots of grip, stays on the face. Okay, next up, last in the frame families is we have the Radar EV. This is a Radar EV path. There is also a pitch, it's just the lens shape difference. The chassis is the same. These are the Radar EV XS and it has the most similar lens shape to this exactly. path. And there is not a different lens shape option with the XS. Mm -hmm. And I think, I'm not sure if we mentioned this yet, but XS, again, Oakley kind of markets these frames towards the youth, but really very suitable for anyone with a smaller head size. Lots of women call and have an, a particularly small head and they say, oh, I know Oakley says these are for youth. And I say, no, it's good. They're just an extra small fit for sure, and they're great. Yeah. Okay, and these Radar EV uh, Pass, I would say would be a good large, even XL fit. That's, that's a pretty accommodating Real thing. quick, can you get those in prescription? You can. Actually, the vast majority of these you can get in prescription. Uh, I'll call out the ones you can't get in prescription, but everything that we've gone over so far, you can get in prescription. Uh, check these out. They are a little unique in how the prescription works. It's an embedded lens. You have two eyes, you have one lens. You can't have one lens for two eyes. Uh, so they cut that out, essentially little cutouts and embedded lens. It's a really cool, really cool lens. Thanks, thanks for informing me. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, next we have the latch. This is a cool frame. It is, it is a round lens lifestyle option. You know, it's a classic frame, that's why it made it into this review. There's been a couple different renditions of it. Um, for example, right here, we have the Latch Alpha. The Latch Beta yeah. came out. It's the same exact size as that, just different materials, more premium materials in the Latch Alpha. You can tell. We have a separate review on that. But again, this is just the classic Latch. So I would call this a small to medium fit. I think it fits you well. I think I, I kind of have a medium face. I can I can wear a small, definitely in the round shape well enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a good fit for a small to medium face. I'd say this is a pretty solid medium frame, this latch alpha. The thing I like about that is the adjustable nose pads. So it allows for a little bit of a more uh, customized fit. It's pretty nice. What do we have next? So next up is the apparition. As far as sizing goes, I would say this is pretty solid medium. What would you say? I'd say it's a pretty solid medium. 
It fits me well enough. You, you could probably get away with it if you're a, a large or medium to large. Uh, probably not so much with the XL. Mm -hmm. This is a good, comfortable fit, for sure. Spring hinges there, a little bit uh, flexible fit. Let me try those on. Try those on. They're super comfortable. There you go. You look good in them. Thanks. You look good in a lot of things, Andrew. Uh, I'm blushing. Okay. Okay, what's up next? The target line. Target line. Here we go. So this is a frame that Oakley marketed more toward golf. Uh, I think I would call it a good medium to large fit. Uh, probably not so much XL. It actually fits me pretty decently well, and it's a it's a good it's a good frame. Yeah. Even though it's marketed toward the golfer, it's a really good kind of all around frame as well. Yeah. It looks cool, right? It's made it into our best mountain bike sunglasses video. It's just got a ton of versatility there. Unobtainium nose bridge, textured temples, made with hat. Uh, compatibility in mind. The temples, the brow ridge is kind of sloped down on the edges. For those of you with that really peaked exactly. hat, hat, hat bill, <laughs> you know? Okay, next up we have the split shot. And this is actually the same thing, the hat compatibility thing. It is. That really... Yep, a little extra coverage on the sides too. As far as fit goes, Again, I'm gonna say more medium to large, kind of leaning almost towards large a little bit. What would I would you say? definitely agree with toward the large. I think you could even get away with this frame with an XL face. This is a pretty, mm. this is a pretty big guy. Yeah, Rob's worn it a bunch, and he seems to really like it. Fits him well. So I like how I'm wearing the, the leash properly right under the chin. Yeah. I'm not helping at all with <laughs> keeping it on the face. Yeah, I do too. So this was a it's frame that they marketed toward fishing. Uh, again, a really good all-around frame, a little more of a wrap design, uh, but definitely check those out. That's what this leash is actually for, is they found that it was a, a better option for those fish. Or maybe throw it around the back, can you get that? There you go. Just throw it on. Yeah. It is detachable. It is detachable. All right, let's move on to the Mercenary. Okay. So this is, I'm gonna put them on just so you can see how large the lenses are. Right, huge, huge lenses, very Big tall, lens. very wide. You can throw them on there. These are part of Oakley's Latitude collection, which really works to um, sort of bridge the gap between sport and lifestyle. So again, you get more of a lifestyle look with sport capabilities embedded throughout the frame. Yeah, so definitely a, a large fit. You could probably get away with an extra large in this, but a medium to large as well. So that's a pretty uh, accommodating frame size, I would say, but I love that hybrid design. It's a that's a really good looking frame. Kind of cool double bridge action. Mm -hmm. So we have the EV0 path here. With the EV0 series, all of these are full uh, rimless options, right? So you have just a little bit more of, I would say, fit options there because for me, it, that frame's all about coverage. Yeah. I put them on, they're large on me, but it's kind of meant to have a little bit of an oversized feel to it. That's right. And this is a, a very, very lightweight frame, definitely a, a more sport-oriented frame. This is one of the options on this table that is non-RXable, even though you kind of feel like it should be based on how the little cutouts of it. It's just a design thing. It's a really super comfortable frame, but now that I'm pointing out the non-RXability of this frame, I, have, I, re I realize that I did not point out that the youth Version, sorry, the XS version of the radar is also non erectable Good call, good yeah. call. All right. And what did we say about this? Good large fit? I would say good large fit, but even for me, again, kind of have that. a small, smaller head, I feel like I could rock them. This is a pretty versatile frame. You, as you can see, the, it's, it has that, uh, that lens material that is really flexible and maintains its shape and rigidity, but still, offers a more comfortable fit even for wider faces. That's a really That's true. accommodating frame. It is. So jawbreaker, we have a full frame option here. Pretty, a little little big on me. A little big. Let's be real. I think this is best for, I would say it's more kind of maybe medium to large, but it has a little bit of, uh, you know, flexibility there with the fit too. But the main difference is we have a full frame here. So full frame, but still a shield design, which is, Fairly unique, I think. And you do have adjustable temples there. Again, so if you have a larger head, you can extend or make them shorter. Again, for a more customized fit. One size is long, one size is short. That's fun. 
RXable. Okay. You want to talk about the Sutro? I like this. This is a newer frame to the collection, and it's, uh, I think, uh, aimed a little more toward, uh, um, I don't want to say youth, because it's, it's more like the teenager, young 20s, kind of urban. Kind of kind of hip crowd. Hip a little crowd. Bit. I think they're pretty cool. Non-RXable. Um, this is the only one now, so the rest of these are RXable. This is non-RXable. Uh, but a really comfortable frame, I would definitely call it a large fit. Uh, medium, probably it'll accommodate you well also, but a lot of coverage on this lens, that's for sure. Yep, got that sort of 80s retro inspired feel to it. Looking good. I know, I feel good. All right, next up we have the ever popular gas can. This is a frame that's been around for a long time and for good reason because it's, it's just a good kind of classic I, I want to say wrap. The lens itself isn't very wrapped, actually. It's it's more of a flat lens, but you have a ton of coverage because of the frame design. Yep. And these, we've kind of moved in on this side. These are frames that have a lot of wrap to them, lots of coverage. Uh, the gas can kind of being more of a medium fit. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of going working from medium to, to large, extra large back here. That's right. So this is a good medium fit. I think it would be even, yeah, maybe a little, uh, a little, a little big. big, a little big. On a, on a smaller face, but definitely, that's a definitely a, a solid medium. All right, so now we have deck cords. What makes these unique? It's anti-rated. That means they're safety rated. That means you can wear them on the job site. You can wear them anywhere that you want to be, you need safety, an actual safety rating on the lens. You can wear it on the gun range, anywhere that you want a safe lens in general, even if you don't need the safety rating. But this is a larger frame, for mm -hmm. sure. This is a large, a solid large, I would call it. And uh, it's, it's been a, a really good frame for those people who need safeties and love the Oakley name. I think it totally makes sense to have a large fit with a safety frame because you want the coverage and protection from your work environment. That's right. All right, what's next? Fuel cells? This is a big guy. I'll throw these on. Fuel cells have been around for a little while. It's uh, similar to the gas can where you have a ton of wrap coverage. It can actually accommodate a little wider range of prescriptions as well because it is, uh, the lens is a little less curved than you might think. It's a little deceptive in that, but you still get that wrap coverage, oh, yeah. which is an, an awesome feature, I think, of this frame. I think the main differences here between that are the grip with the turbine. You get unobtainium grip on the nose pads and temples. As far as fit goes, a little bit larger than the fuel cells, would you say? I would definitely say that, yeah. It's an XL fit. I put this pretty solidly in the XL. You could probably, if you're large, large to XL for sure. Cool, cool. Last up. These are the Oakley Double Edge. Because they're double big. This is an XL, solid XL. They're huge. I mean, they look big on you. I'm not even gonna try them on. So they look ridiculous. He'd be swimming in them. But yeah, this is definitely an XL fit. If you have a big dome, you get the double edge. Big dome, double edge. Okay? Yes, you remember. I really hope this was helpful. It's uh, been fun getting to go over all of these Oakley frames with you. Definitely like and subscribe if this was helpful to you. Comment down below. We get back to all of our comments. Call us if you'd like someone live to get a hold of. We'll walk you through anything and everything you might need. Thank you for joining us.